What's going on, heavy hitters? This week's Busted Can Peach is none other than our returned alumni and OG, Sheree Whitfield, with her bumbling, short memory loss, lying, embellishing, she by she and she by Walmart, she ain't got it, she don't know what the hell she's doing. Y'all come on back and let's have this heavy conversation. Because it's what? Time to crown this week's Busted Can Peach. All right, y'all, so if this is your first time here, welcome or welcome back. If it is not, thank you guys so much for all that you're doing. Like, I am so appreciative for the love and the growth that you guys have helped me to acquire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Over here on Heavy Hitter Media, we do a little bit of everything. Rants, reality, TV reviews, men's plus size fashion, hell, whatever comes to my mind. Um, so stay tuned for tomorrow for Talk Shit Tuesday when I do my Real Housewives of Atlanta, episode eight, season 15 review. However, this is for the busted can peach of the week. The one and the only Sheree Whitfield. The reason she is this week's busted can peach because Sheree is just a flat out liar. Sheree, how dare you have the audacity to be upset with Candy for repeating what people are saying for doing that spoof after all that bullshit you and Marlo did last season. You caused major confusion by simply sitting there and agreeing to the foolishness that Marlo was spewing. That's not friendship. Y'all could be cool. Hell, I call that an acquaintance because that is not friendship. For the stuff you set up and you agree with and the little bitty jabs you threw at Candy, you got the audacity to be mad at her because she just simply reiterated and did a spoof for what you said. The spoof she did was you from the reunion. Well, I just thought, Candy, after the reunion, this is what she said in this week's episode. I just thought after the reunion, we were cool. Well, girl, it's all in good jest and, and fun, but you can't be too cool because right after the reunion, you went right back and you did some more digs with that. Ugh, I'm not going to start on Marlo because this ain't about her. I'm going to dig into her ass tomorrow. But again, Sheree Whitfield, you're this week's Busty Can Peach. It is interesting to me that in this week's episode, she outlined all the things that she has seen wrong or experienced when it came to Candy's businesses. And out of friendship, she said she never brought it up. Of course, because y'all were cool at the point. So you wouldn't have brought those things up because you were cool, friendly, you know, around one another. But that had since changed. If you happen to follow Candy and you watch her speak on it, she explains these digs and shade that Sheree is trying to throw at her. Like, girl, my restaurants have lines. You just popped up with 12 people and expected because you knew me that I was going to make room for you. Yes, you had to wait. We don't do pop-ups. That's why we have reservations. Also, Sheree, you came at the end when we were closing. So the things that you may have wanted may not have been there because what? They were sold out because what? My businesses are successful. Well, girl, you got those um, bad grade ratings with the health departments. Yeah, we did, and we got that fixed. Well, your clothes, you can only wear them one time. Girl, anybody that knows anything about retail knows the tags is a high-end Ross. <laughs> it is a high-end Burlington. It is a high-end Rainbow. Girl, first of all, if you bought anything from tags, the most you probably paid was $30. How many ways you expect to get out that shit? Broke ass. Can't. Candy girl, Sheree's not your friend. I just listening to this week speak on it, and she's like, well, you know, I really like Sheree. Sheree's my girl, Sheree's not your friend. If that's the level of friendship one shows, girl, that's not your friend. We have to reevaluate what friendship looks like because y'all are using that word too loosely over there. So again, let's run back through some of the stuff that shows why Sheree Whitfield is this week's Busty Can Peach. Let's start with She by Sheree. Sheree, you showed all these fashions with that god-awful finale walk, and you ain't got none of this shit on your site. Candy was right. A couple of weeks after, none of that was up. None of it was active. And when it finally was, you had $130 t-shirts. Let's look at some of the apparel that she by she, oops, I mean, she by she ain't got it. She by Sheree had the audacity to put up on her website to fool us into buying. She by She Ain't Got It is also this week's Busted Can Peach because not only did you try to finagle us with forgetting about the debacle that is She by Sheree, you concocted this summer story about you and Martell Holt. Girl, you got to be ashamed of yourself. 
then you want us to believe that you and he are a real deal. Now, if y'all was just having sex, girl, some of us can't blame you. Get the wood, keep it pushing. <laughs> girl, sprinkle a little bit of that old lady juice on him and go about your business. No, I'm just playing because Sheree Fine is here. Sheree Fine, that's a beautiful woman. Sheree, and that's so disheartening that you're such a beautiful woman that you would endure and put up with so much foolishness. But, I mean, you're a liar. And that's what liars do. Liars lie in order to get by. <laughs> Girl, that's a new quote and a new shirt. Liars lie in order to get by. I'm going to have to do that next for my heavy shirts. But anyway, y'all, that is why Sheree Whitfield is this week's Busted Can Peach. Because she's a liar. She's a deceiver. You don't want her. You don't need her. <laughs> She's a liar, deceiver, heartbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> Sheree, girl, do better. All right, y'all. Y'all tune in to tomorrow for Talk Shit Tuesday when I do my Real Housewives of Atlanta review. Again, until the next time, y'all be easy. Peace. Oh, you made it this far. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> y'all be easy. Peace.